How to patch larger holes. Now here's where uh, your pit bull terrier slammed into the wall playing football with your kid. And these are, oh no, this is scary, you know, this is uh, a, a very ba bad hole. How are we going to fix this? Now, no need to worry about big holes in drywall or sheetrock. Here's a smaller hole here as well. I'm going to show you now a quick way to fix these. I'm going to clean this out of any dust and get a little bit of water in there and dampen it up. And I'm just going to leave that one. This sucker is ready to go. This is your large metal mesh patch. Okay, there's different brands of these, but it's very simple. It's a metal plate with some mesh backing. It sticks right over your hole, no problem. And you simply fill it in with your plaster compound mix. Here we have joint compound, plaster of Paris, and a little bit of water. We mix these together about 50-50, and we go ahead and fill it in. It'll probably take two coats, but we'll put our first coat on. We'll go right over the middle of it as well. The second coat can be simple joint compound, which will be a smoother finish. The first coat has the plaster of Paris. I'm just working it in until I'm satisfied. Okay, great. I'm happy with that for the first coat. Now here's a little trick of the trade that you may not have heard of. If I have a little newspaper, in this case just some random paper, I'm going to tear off a piece and dip it in water, squeeze it, I think I'll make it a little bigger. I normally use newspaper for something like this, but you can, you can take newspaper or paper and wad it up a bit and stick it into a hole and push it in so that it is more or less flush with the wall. You don't want it to come out. All right. Now we could let that dry a bit, after which I would probably coat it a little bit with my bin primer. This is the fix-all primer that I like to use on job sites. And it just kind of seals it up so that the plaster has something to stick to. And that would be how you would fill a medium-sized hole that's just a little too big for straight joint compound or a patching compound. You know, this is much bigger than uh, a nail hole or a, a bolt hole from a television but it's a little too small for a large patch like that. So this is just a little trick you can use. So we'll let that dry and we'll put our plaster on. Okay, let's take a look. This is that large patch here. I've got my metal mesh patch right underneath here. What I did was I sanded that first coat down and using my joint compound, I put a second coat, nice and smooth, right on top using a wide knife. Let that set, sand it again, and went ahead and rolled it here with our water-based primer. So that's all sealed up. That's nice. That's nice and solid, nice and smooth. And this wall is ready for paint.